Good morning and greetings to us all in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome to all who are joining with us in our morning devotion on this uh, 21st uh, day of September, uh, this Monday morning, 2020. Uh, may God bless you and may you be encouraged today. Our devotion will be in three ways, in song, in word, and in prayer. The song from Psalm 119 verses 11, sorry, verses 9 uh, to 11. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to thy word. By taking heed to thy word. With my whole heart I have sought thee. With my whole heart I have sought thee. With my whole heart I have sought thee. Let me not wander from thy commands. Let me not wander from thy commands. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart. That I might not sin against thee that I might not sin against thee. With my whole heart, I have sought thee. With my whole heart, I have sought thee. With my whole heart, I have sought thee. Let me not wander from thy commands. Let me not wander from thy commands. Thanks be to God for the words of that, of that song, but it's all from Psalm 119, verses 11, sorry, 9 to 11. In the Good News Version, it has it, how can young people keep their lives pure by obeying my command? How can young people keep their lives pure by obeying my commands? The theme this morning, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Our society today is not like how it was, say, 50 years ago. It's almost like a godless and lawless society that we live in today. What I mean by that is, you know, like when you, there is a generation now where like they do not even know God. There's no such thing as worship or even Bible reading and prayer appears to be foreign to them. Why? Because of the society that we're living in today. And so what happens is, as a result of that, because of the choices they made, or that has been made on their behalf, you know, the, the, that's why there's um, so much ungodliness and also so much lawlessness. And so, yeah, that's the theme today. In the song, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to thy word. See, that, you know, by having the word of God, um, as your compass to guide you. That's what sets things in order. That's why God's word declares, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so even as young people, when you're living your life and going through your life, 
these guidance, uh, th his word guides you, tells you, his word corrects you, his word helps you, his word teaches you. That's why that question that was asked, well, how can young people keep their lives pure by obeying his command? This is the point I want to bring to us. That's why I've titled this theme, The Choice is Yours. And just remember, see, your parents, our parents made a choice. So as a result of that choice, we are where we are because of the choices too we make today. Now that we're parents, and even those young people, as young people, they have to make a choice. So choices, the choices we make every day actually determine where you will be in five years' time. That's why it's in a very important point. He says, with my whole heart I have sought you, let me not wonder. And then the verse, thy word have I hid in my heart. This is the beauty that if you keep God's word in your heart, that, that will actually stop you from sinning according to the word of God. So yes, this, the, the words of that song is, is actually very true. The thing is, if you apply it in your life and see it, you will see that yes, God's word is true. And so in terms of the, ch the choices, like for today, really the choice is yours. What you choose will determine what you will do and what you will be in five years' time. The Lord bless you and keep you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again, we just want to acknowledge your presence and your sovereignty. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you again for reminding us that, Lord, uh, we need to take heed to your word. And so, Lord, we just want to uplift up, especially uh, our young people today, uh, wherever they may be, in terms of their work, and in terms whether it's a schooling, still studying, wherever they, just uplifting them. And for all your people today, we uplift them into your hands for your leading, for your guidance, and for your protection. And so, Father, we pray for your enabling, for your uh, protection, for your uh, guidance, for your hand to be upon each and every one of us, your people here in this land of New Zealand, in the different um, uh, different uh, areas of society. And Father, we just pray for your covering throughout this day upon each and every one of us, that Lord, that you will go before us and that you'll uh, bless us and protect us throughout this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, the Lord, uh, or just before uh, I just an announce uh, that, I just just uh, I keep on obeying the rules, but uh, just check the, the news uh, for the uh, latest uh, at one o'clock. The Prime Minister will be giving the latest info in regard to the COVID. Other than that, uh, take care and God bless and keep on obeying the rules. And we'll see you again uh, tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. God bless you.